Hey guys, it's Lo. Welcome back to another episode of Lo Knows. Now, today I want to share with you a little audio secret that I use on most or all of my audio and video projects. And it's as simple as using a limiter. What's a limiter? Up next. All right, so using a limiter is not really that big of a secret, but heck, it's still a really good tool to use. Um, I've been holding out on you guys. This, this is the ultimate tool right here. This is gonna save your projects. No, I'm just kidding. There's plenty more tips and stuff to use to improve your video. Okay, so what is a limiter? Well, a limiter you would usually apply on the master track of your audio session or the master track of your audio sessions within a video. And what a limiter does in short, um, it balances out all of the tracks that you have in a session, whether you have three, four, five, 10, it balances out the level to a nice, to a listening level to a point that you set. All right, I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna show you what a limiter can do. All right, so I'm gonna show you two ways you can actually use a limiter within your project. The first way will be using a limiter just on your vocals. The second way will be using a limiter within the master track of your session, and that is the most common way a limiter is used within the industry or just with, with whenever you're using this plugin. All right, so I've got a session here. Uh, I just created a silly video of me playing Titanfall 2, and purposely I got myself shot up losing and just kind of giving all sorts of uh, contrived rants. Um, just want to put it out there. I don't suck in Titanfall 2, so now that that is out there. All right, so we're, we're in Vegas Pro. Let's go ahead and let's bring out our limiter. So within your master track, go ahead and go to Master Effects. You want to go to Vegas, and all the way at the bottom, you'll have Wave Hammer Surround. This is the plugin for the limiter for Vegas Pro. So we'll go ahead, we'll add it in. Okay, and now the Wave Hammer Surround plugin has several features, a compressor, volume maximizer, and a routing. What we want to do is we want to bypass the compressor because our audio tracks already, they already have a compressor, a track compressor already attached to it. So we don't want to double compress our audio. Okay, so make sure the compressors bypass. And then here is our actual, actual limiter. We have two knobs or two sliders to work with. First is the threshold. The threshold adds a certain amount of volume or decibels to your audio track. Uh, for this example, we will be adding uh, decibels or initial threshold decibels to our just our dialogue portion right now. Our output level, this is what monitors or tells us this is this is the at the max point that we want our levels or our loudness to clip or peak at. So let's go ahead and let's just take a look at the uh, listen to the audio. Uh, bare bones. This business right here, huh? Who wants some of this? Who wants it? You want some of this? Um, no, come on. Are you serious? It's right there. How am I missing this guy? Are you serious? Okay, so we can see right away that when I'm just having a, a normal speaking voice that my levels are kind of peaking maybe around uh, between nine and negative 12 decibels. But once I get loud, then we're, we're all the way above negative three, three decibels. What the limiter will do, it, will, it, can, it can do two things for us right now. We can use them separately or within conjunction. It can raise the overall volume level of my audio. So the levels that were peaking at 12, I can now have them come up to maybe like six or maybe negative three. And the second thing is that once those levels that I that I'm going the levels that are going way above, above negative three decibels, I can actually use an output level and actually bring those down and and like hey listen those parts are that th within this track it's a little too loud. I want to keep this down to a certain point and this is a certain number that I want to bring it down at. Okay, so let's let's engage our, our limiter again and let's take a listen. What I'm first gonna do is I'm gonna try to bring up, I'm gonna use a threshold and I'm going to try to bring up the level of the overall quiet parts. It's actually, the threshold is gonna bring up the overall volume or the decibels of the entire track. And we'll see how the, low, the quieter parts are increased. Who wants some of this business right here, huh? Who wants some of this? Who wants it? You want some of this? Um, no, come on, are you serious? It's right there, how am I missing this guy? Are you serious? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so we can see that I add about negative five decibels of gain or a threshold to the actual audio. And we saw how before when my dialogue was picking at 12, now it's probably picking up maybe like somewhere six. And then remember, since this is a threshold and it adds the, uh, it adds decibels or volume to the entire track, my louder parts have gotten even louder. So now I'm gonna bring in the output level and I'm gonna 
this is where I'm going to attenuate or kind of adjust the overall peakness of the volume. So me normally, I like to, when I, when I put a limiter to my overall tracks that has multiple elements, I like the overall, uh, the, the 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 peak level within the entire session to, to be but maybe about like negative three decibels or maybe negative four decibels so we'll go to negative four decibels and we'll see where we are right now take it to these guys that's right from the back take it down I was about to drop down no okay so we can see right away that our soft parts our lower speaking parts the, the level has gone up but since I add a, a since I put a negative four uh decibel on the output level, my whenever I start to scream, we can see that it stops right here and it doesn't go up any further. Now, if I want, I actually play with a little more. Oh! It might be a little too loud. Maybe I can either. Ducks, man, come on, seriously? You're freaking serious? I can either back up on the volume or I can add a little more limiting on the actual thing. Let's 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 see what it sounds like with negative oh! five. Oh! Go, you guys are just sitting ducks, man. Come on, seriously? You're freaking serious? Yeah, take that, buddy. Okay, so so I I probably uh, I decided to set my levels probably around negative fourteen decibels, and I'll leave it at negative negative three decibels as far as the peakness. And you can see how it brought up the overall level of just the dialogue track, uh, where to the point where the low parts are now raised above now, and now but it's not going to peak anywhere. Be anywhere above negative three decibels. So now it kind of keeps, uh, now whoever's listening to my audio, they're not going back and forth within my, uh, for their volume knob trying to adjust that because I'm keeping, I'm keeping, I've raised the lower parts of my audio to a certain point, I increased it by negative 10 decibels, but anything that goes higher above negative three decibels, uh, it'll, it'll get pushed down. All right, so let's use the limiter now within the overall stereo track. I'm gonna go ahead, I will, I will uh, bypass our limiter right now, and I will activate now the sound effects that we have in the background. And with, without any kind of a volume tweaking or anything else, we'll just take a listen of what it sounds flat, basic, dry. Who wants some of this? Who wants this? Who wants some of this? I'm, no, come on. Are you serious? Okay, so we can say two things are happening right now. The sound effects, the gunshots, the explosions, all of that, they're peaking way above negative three decibels. And also my, the volume of my voice now, it's not loud enough anymore and it's kind of getting kind of lost. So we're gonna to need to do two things here. First, we're gonna engage our limiter and then we're gonna set the actual, or actual peakness first when we want to uh, do our overall track. So I have I have two elements right now. I have my dialogue, I have my sound effects, guns, explosions, yada, yada. And with all of that, I wanna say, okay, let's start off with negative three. I don't want all, with all of these elements, I want all of them to not go above negative three decibels. So first, let's see how that sounds like. Okay, so you can easily see that nothing, with all the explosions, nothing's going over negative three decibels without Come on, are you serious? It's going way above it. All right, so now that we have there, now what I'm going to do first now is I'm going to drop the volume of the actual effects. Now that we have the level of where we want our audio to peak, I need to bring down the volume of the actual, uh, the gunshots and explosions because right, of course, the focal point of this video is my actual dialogue. So let's back off on the volume of, of the gunshots. You want some of this? Um, no, come on, are you serious? It's right. Okay, all right, so it's so far it has a nice good mix, but now we still need to come up on the volume of the actual dialogue. I'm going to go straight into here and I will go ahead and I will add my wave hammer. I will add that there. I will minim I will take that out and let me introduce let me adjust the overall volume. Bypass the compressor. Now let's let's add it over here. Who wants some of this? Who wants it? You want some of this? Um, no! Come on! Are you serious? It's right there. How am I missing this guy? Are you serious? Okay, so I've added a limiter to my actual audio track. Uh, so now that I have a little more volume, a little more presence, just keep in mind, I did not. Main reason why I did this is because I don't. I didn't apply a normalizing to my audio as well. So a lot of things were already uh, small enough, and because of the the peaks that I have here, if I were to normalize the audio, it would actually bring down the level of my of my the screams here, 
that I have going on, going on here and then we'll kind of defeat the purpose of the video. Okay, so we use the limiter to increase the overall volume of my, my self track. Now I'm going to go back to my master track. Okay, I will gauge, gauge this back on. And let's go ahead and let, let's, let's finalize everything. Who wants some of this business right here, huh? Who wants some of this? Who wants to, you want some of this? Um, no, come on, are you serious? I'm increasing. It's right there, how am I missing this guy? I'm increasing the overall level of the entire session here within the master track. Are you serious? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Take it to these guys. Now I think I could put, I think I could actually add a little more of the effects to give it a nice full sound. Right now it's just kind of uh, heavy on me. That's right, from the back, take it down. I was about to drop down, no! Oh, you guys are just sitting ducks, man. <laughs> Come on, seriously? You're freaking serious? Yeah, take that, buddy. Okay, so we're playing some Titanfall today. I'm just kind of shooting some some cats up, doing my thing, because that's Mr. Glitch to you. He's just kind of running the show here. Holy shit! Oh, crap. Okay, it's oh, the show these cats how to play. I got my Titan? Um, no, not on my Titan. I, I'm just going to fire it up! God! Lock on, baby. Lock on. You gonna drop that Titan on that butt. You want some of this? You wanna stay right there and get dropped on? Yeah, babe. Oh, no. Uh, 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 you gonna stay there? You wanna hang with this? You think you can handle this? You can't handle this? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. All right, I need to back up. Yeah, oh, uh, go ahead. Get out of there. Ha <laughs> ha. I did that. Okay. That's right. From the back. Take it down! I was about to drop down, no! Okay, so what I did here was I added a, a, some more decibels onto my voice itself, so I can increase that. I put a, a cap on negative three uh, decibels within my voice alone, and then I went back to my master track. And here, like I said before, whenever using a limiter within your actual master track, you, don't, you really don't wanna add too much volume to your master leveling track, but I did put an overall close to negative four decibels peakness in there. And that's our final result. That's right, from the back, take it down. I was about to drop down, no! Girl, you guys are just sitting ducks, man. <laughs> Come on, seriously? You're freaking serious? Yeah, take that, buddy. All right, so yeah, so uh, I'm gonna settle with negative five decibels on the overall track so it doesn't become too loud or too harsh for the ears when, when I'm screaming and also when the guns are firing off. Hey, can I add a more, maybe a little more? I'm gonna shoot for 20, maybe 19. Let's see how, it, how it sounds. That's right, from the back, take it down. I was about to drop down, no! Go, you guys are just sitting because that's Mr. Glitched You. It's just kind of running. All right, yeah, yeah, that has a nice, good mix. And yeah, so that's one way you can use the, uh, the limiter um, naturally to bring up the overall volume of your voice, but also make sure it's set at a, at a certain point. You can either use it on the full track or the actual list as well. Now, remember, there, there are more than one limiters out there. Uh, you don't have to use, if you have access to it, Limiters come in different ways, and besides the Vegas, there are other third parties. And me personally, I like using the limiters uh, by Waves. Let me see if I can find it here. I usually use this one here. Uh, where are you? Is this you? Yeah, so it's, it's it's the same concept, except you know it's just the same thing. It's just I'm I'm just kind of used to the way this one looks. And also limiters, they also come with different dynamics as well, uh, since they're super popular. As far as uh, when when mixing or finalizing or uh, uh, mastering music, uh, a lot of limiters out there they have certain parameters or or qualities where they can actually here we go I can add this one so where it actually has a limiter and it actually has a bit of a EQ EQ settings where it can add a certain EQ within the entire track as well. Uh, some limiters out there they can actually add a bit of a stereo imaging effect so everything sounds a little bit more wider. But you know that's the, that's just the way. Uh, limiters go. They can either apply just for your voice or for your overall track and add a bit of a, a different element or dynamic to your audio as well. All right, guys, that is it for limiting. As you can see, it's a really cool, useful tool, especially for balancing out and leveling your overall audio levels um, so you can have a nice 
overall listening audio level. So things, so elements within your session are not surprising your listeners. It's also a great tool just to use for your voice as well. Um, after you do all your pre-prep, uh, you know, your noise reduction or normalizing or whatever, you can actually, if you felt that there are some parts within your audio that you want to increase the volume on while still making sure it doesn't get too loud on certain areas, the limiter is a great tool for that. And like I said before, I do it all the time, especially if I fear that, especially, especially if I feel there are some parts where I'm just kind of whispering and all of a sudden I get loud, the, nor the, the limiter will kind of balance those things out according to the parameters and settings that you set to it. Also, as a uh, really quick uh, tidbit, if you ever uh, listen to any of your, some kind of music and you drag like a music file into your session and you'll just see how like the files are just kind of like that fat, they're, like, they're almost like touching the top, but when you listen to it, it doesn't sound distorted. A lot of musicians or, or you know, just mu mu production houses when it comes to music, they use limiters to get that loud sound without it being clipping. They'll, they'll run the entire sig signal through a limiter and they'll make it as loud as they can, but they'll, they'll, they'll cut it from the top so it doesn't, get, it doesn't distort. And that's basically it's a, a lot of, a lot of uh, popular production houses and uh, popular music groups or whatever artists is. They use limiters when mastering their final sound to, you know, CD or, or whatever, MP3s. All right, guys, that is it for Low Nose. If you found out this video, I hope you'll go ahead, leave a like, go ahead, subscribe so you don't miss any more videos like this and leave a comment below. If you have any questions, I am always good at getting back to you. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye, later.